make sure that your fretless finger guide is the same size as your violin. So if I have here a 4-4 full size violin, I have a 4-4 violin fretless finger guide. Okay, what I want to do is I want to have this section at the top that's smaller and the wider section at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and place this finger guide in between the strings and the fingerboard. Be careful to make sure you get it under the G string as well. It's harder to do with one hand. You should be able to do it easily with two. So I'm going to go ahead and use two hands. Okay. Once you have your finger guide underneath the strings, you're going to pull it all the way to the top of the violin. There are a couple of little red lines. You want to get these red lines right in the center, right in the center between the D and A strings. Now on the back, you're going to go ahead and fold around the two sides, layering one over the top of the other. Make sure it's nice and tight. If you have bubbles in your finger guide or your strings are very close to your fingerboard, it'll make your violin buzz quite a bit. So make sure you pull it tight. It's okay if it buzzes because we're going to use this finger guide as a way to mark the positions on your violin. So once you have the finger guide on, you want to mark your violin positions with a sharpie on the strings. What we're going to do is mark right above where it says A, E, B, and this multicolored box. I'm going to go ahead and mark, and I'm going to cover right where the letters are, not on the finger guide, but on the string above it. Notice I'm not just going on the letters, I'm going straight across, not on the first section, but on the second section. I'm going to skip this third section, and I'm going to mark on the one that starts with a B on the G string. I'm going to mark that one as well. And then I'm going to mark this one that says C, G, D, A. If you want to get fancy, you can go ahead and mark this last section. This is going to give you one set place to put each finger. The thumb goes across from where it says A on the G string, and the first finger on the A string hits where it says B. The second finger skips the C and moves out to the C sharp, and the third finger goes on D, and fourth finger goes on E. Like this. So we're essentially skipping one, skipping the second one, touching, and skip. So it's a skip, skip, step, which means to touch, and another skip. Just like this. So if you're looking at the fretless finger guide here, you're going to find that on the G string, we're going to mark this A note. We're going to mark straight across. So we're skipping the first section and we're marking this section. We're going to skip this one that says F, C, and G. Those are for later. And we're going to mark the B section that says B and has four blank blocks. That's for our second finger. Our first finger goes up here. Our second finger is going to go here. Our third finger, our ring finger, is going to go on the one that has letters all the way across. We're going to skip the one with blocks all the way across, and our fourth finger is going to go where these final letters are. So just mark right above those on your strings with Sharpie. If you have a hard time seeing it, I strongly encourage you to use a red Sharpie. Feel free to leave your finger guide on, but it will probably sound better if you just mark your strings with a Sharpie and use the fingering guide as you add new notes.